President Adela De La Torre. You came to us from UC Davis, where you were an administrator and also a scholar in Mexican American studies. What do you bring to this university? Well, I think I bring over 30 years of experience in higher education. I was also at the University of Arizona. I was at Cal State Long Beach. Um, I have a fairly uh, long research career focusing on disparities in education as well as in health in um, both the Central Valley and the border region. So uh, there are many intersection points in terms of my, my research, my teaching, as well um, as Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs and Campus Diversity at Davis, working in many areas that are critical for the success of San Diego State, including enrollment management, as well as student life and well-being. Something that's on a lot of people's minds right now is the rising cost of higher education. Of course, the tuition is set by the CSU and largely informed by the state budget. But as a, as a university president, what can you do to help um, bring those costs down? The CSU system is probably one of the most affordable systems. Our, our average debt is around $19,000 compared to the national debt level, which is you know, over $37,000 for students. But I think, for example, when we look at cost of attendance, probably one of the biggest areas for our students is housing. And that's an area that I really want to partner with the city about because I think for, for campuses like San Diego State or San Francisco State, the cost of attendance is largely driven not so much by, uh, by tuition, but food and shelter, as well as costs of textbooks. So the extent that I can control those costs, work in partnership, allow students to have the opportunity to attend, I will work really closely, both with the system and the city, in order to ensure that accessibility. And San Diego State is not shy about looking to boost its research profile. I read that just this past year it saw increases in the kinds of grants that traditionally would have gone down the road to UC San Diego. Um, research technology is one of the big drivers behind the proposal to move to Mission Valley as an ex expansion. Um, but people might also say that research has a big footprint on campus or that research professors um, maybe have a, sh a lower course load. Um, so is this the right move when we're talking about efficiencies in higher education? I absolutely think it's the right move. Uh, we have, of course, been ranked multiple times in different indicators. Uh, one area that I'm really quite pride of, proud of that I heard recently was that we are in the top 10 of Hispanic serving institutions in terms of research activity. We are in the top 12 in research intensive activity. What does that mean? In order for our students to become global citizens, innovative, leaders as well as compassionate leaders as well, we need to really focus on the fact that they have to have a multiplicity of experiences in and outside of the classroom. The opportunity to work with top researchers is one important area, as well as having the opportunity to work in internships. The other thing that's important, I think particularly for San Diego State, is about 61% of our students stay in the region. So we are really an important uh, workforce uh, development partner with the city and the region. And so the fact is, is that in order to create the kind of cutting edge uh, employees, they have to have the cutting edge experiences. The CSUs traditionally are seen as serving their immediate community. And I know here in San Diego, we have a lot of first generation students. How do you bring them along with this vision of research, especially if maybe they didn't start off on that path? So from my past experiences, I'm a firm believer with partnerships with K-12, to and that is we don't only want to provide access, but we want to provide success. So how do we do that? We work closely with our schools. So historically, of course, San Diego State developed under President Weber the Sweetwater Compact. Um, we have other programs that are partnering with local schools as well. We need to have more of those. Fortunately, we have a new dean in the School of Education, um, uh, Dr. Barry Chung from Indiana, and I think he's gonna do a fabulous job reaching out to schools. And quickly, I know that you'll be embarking on a new strategic plan for the university. Can you give us any hints as to what that's gonna look at or some of the themes you hope to address with it? Well, I would say first and foremost is my commitment to students. And so my mantra has been, you know, we are going to produce global citizens, ethical innovators, and compassionate leaders. Those themes are critical. And underpinning that, of course, are all the areas that are critical for that outcome. 
One, we have to think about developing the kind of research infrastructure that supports our great research team. We need to create the types of partnerships that allow for innovation with our business community. We need to create the kind of support for our faculty to use innovative pedagogy to really engage students in learning. We need to create the kinds of partnerships with our donors and our supporters and all the co-curricular activities that really create the kind of success for our students. So in that process, what's going to be important is developing a collective vision. And when I say a collective vision, this, this year we're going to be focusing on a listening tour. I've already um, talked to many of our new deans, and we have a lot of new deans. In fact, I think the, the dean that has the longest tenure here is the dean of the College of Arts and Letters, who's been here approximately four years, followed by our dean of business, who's been here, who's starting his second year. So everyone is going to be new. But one of the things that I really have asked all the deans that I've talked to so far is to really sit down to start talking to their faculty, their department chairs, about what makes them distinct, and to really think about where they want to be 10, 15, 20, 30 years, looking at their discipline plans. Adela De La Torre, President of San Diego State University, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I've really enjoyed the conversation. Thank you so much.